Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben, and I'm back with part two of this box, which is an Adidas shoe box from Bob's collection in part one. I found a five for my PC with some Mark Graces and Sean Dunstans. Got some Juan Gons, the reverse negative here, and um, some other random cards. So a bunch of, a bunch of commons and a bunch of uh, these 92 wild cards, which I kind of hate. So hopefully we don't see any more of those, but let's dive in here and see what we get. I know we got some 91 upper deck. We got some 1990 Tops football to kick us off. So let's see if there's anything of interest. There's John Taylor. Ronnie Lott. Looks like these are all 49ers players here again. But not the 49ers you would want. There's Roger Craig. In Montana. So that'll do it for the 90 Tops football. Uh, 1992 Donner's Triple Play. There's an Yvonne Rodriguez rookie card. Let's just flip through these quickly. I think we've all seen these a lot. There's Paul Molitor and Dale Murphy. George Brett. There's the Philly Fanatic. Greg Maddox. Barry Larkin. Lee Smith. Certainly not stripped of all its value or interest here. There's Dale Murphy again. But nothing major in there, nothing too exciting. All right, now we got these opened, unopened packs. And we start off with the MVP lineup with Ryan Sandberg, George Bell, and Andre Dawson. So that'll go my old PC for Ryan Sandberg. So that's nice. wonder what they were looking for in this 91 upper deck. So there's the rookie threats with Jeff Bagwell. Harold Baines. Maybe looking for either Ken Griffey Jr. or maybe that Michael Jordan baseball card everybody was after. SP1. Steve Avery, it's a nice shot of him. Terry Pendleton coming into his MVP season. And a sticker. Matt Young. Double Matt Young. All the Matt Young you can handle. Dave Winfield. And the Angels there. Deion Sanders. Kirk Gibson. And a checklist. Plus Boston Red Sox sticker. Oh, this was a full pack. So clearly they didn't open up exactly these packs. They were, this is, looks like a double pack some, for some reason. I've seen this quite a bit though, people open up a pack and put the cards back in it. I just don't understand it. I just like to store them in the packs for some reason. Look at that Shane Mack picture. Mickey Hatcher having some fun, as they should. There's a Cubs sticker. It is a game after all. People should be having fun. Gary Carter. And St. Louis Cardinal sticker. This 91 upper deck is the upper decks that I, I remember buying the most of when I was a kid. Um, I didn't buy too many of them though because they were like $1.25 when Tops was like, I don't know, 50 or 59 cents or something like that. So, because these were more premium. When you're a kid, that 50 cents makes a big difference. Here's Fred McGriff. Or at least a kid in the early 90s. There's Tim Raines. And there's another Cubs sticker. So again, nothing too fancy. What is this? All-star drug detecting dogs. This guy's name is Blow. Treasury U.S. Customs Service. 10 of 24. Total seizure value to date. That's his stats of 17.3 million. The Labrador Retriever Mix. So there you go, there's one for the record books. It's not the first dog card I've pulled, but uh, it is very interesting, very strange. In those early 90s, people were making baseball, making us trading cards for everything. What year is this? Do we get a year on this? It's a super thin card. Oh, it's produced by Milkbone. But no, no year. No, the copyright date, nothing. Okay.
Home Owner Viscal. Yeah, these 91 upper deck packs are pretty stripped of most of the good stuff, so clearly people were pulling them. There's a Cardinal sticker. Oh, look, we got another little lenticular score insert there. Deion Sanders again. Jack Morris over on the Twins, so this must be a high series pack. And the A's. Lots of A's stickers. Rick Sutcliffe working <laughs> a little something for this cocked hat. Yeah, we were just starting to strike out. There's another Cardinal sticker. And our last one, thank goodness. Are these stripped out 91 upper deck packs. Dante Bichette, but I always go through all of them because you know, you never know where you're gonna find a big one. And honestly, I like to play a lot of small ball. There's a Red Sox sticker, meaning I like to pull these like Dante Bichette's out of here and then you'll see that I make those player collections. That's how I make them. So we got another, we got Rufus. Oh, Rufus was the name of my dog who just passed away not too long ago. Uh, hats off to you, Rufus, the drug sniffing dog, and to my Rufus, who I miss a lot. There you go, this guy's in New York, New York. Oh, it's 92. There's the copyright, 92. For those dog cards. So a couple of those dog cards. And then we're into 92 Donruss. Ricky Henderson. Good shot of him there. I'm going to scroll through these quickly. It's a puzzle piece. 90 upper deck. They're not sticky because they're UV coated, but they don't slide very well, these 90 upper deck. Or 91 for that matter. There's a Ricky Henderson All Star. So, as you can see, I'm getting a nice big fat stack of stars and Hall of Famers, even without any big major hits. Wade Boggs. Hey, there's Nolan Ryan for my collection. No hitter. No hit club. No hitter number seven for him there in 1991. Steve Avery, Cal Ripken, and Joe Carter. Oh, there's a Pat Mahomes rookie. Pat Mahomes Sr., that is. Father of the Kansas City Chiefs quarterback, but a good baseball player on his own right. I know there are quite a few people who like to collect his cards. Jim Tomey, there's a rookie card for you there. Vince Coleman. I know a guy that every time I put together a Vince Coleman collection, He's always taking the whole thing from me. I don't know what he does with those. Jeff Plimpton is a local Rentham, Massachusetts legend. That's the area I live in. So it's not uncommon to come across Jeff out in town. There's George Brett. Steve Avery, 92 tops. Craig Biggio, all-star. I say Biggio, but it's Biggio. I realize that. I don't know why I always just did that. Alan Trammell, chilling out in the dugout. Andy Van Slyke with a nice picture. Looks like all the rest of these are probably going to be 92 Fleer, 92 Score, 92 Tops, which is fine by me. Um, I won't hold it against you if you guys don't stick with me here. But you should, because you never know what's going to be in here. Might find something you've never seen before. There's a Mike Messina rookie card. I say it's his rookie card. It's not his first scorecard. He has a number one draft pick in the 1991 set as well. Kenny Lofton in there. This is his rookie prospects card. Oh, another Sean Dunstan for me. There you go. This is just boxes chock full of my for my personal collection. There's Tim Raines. So we got there's Tony Gwynn, Lee Smith, Hall of Fame as well. So we got one for each of my personal collection guys with uh, Nolan Ryan, no hit club, a few Sean Dunstans, a couple Mark Graces, and uh, Ryan Sandberg already. So we are doing well. That's a box that makes me happy. There's a Gary Carter. 
Edgar Martinez, Ricky Henderson, looks like it got some 92 tops kids, there's a Rob Dibble looking very Terminator like, Mitch Williams, got some, uh, ooh, hot rookie Reggie Jefferson, 92, oh there's a Ryan Sandberg, 92 tops kids, I love this set, Daryl Strawberry, Nolan Ryan, look at that too, Nolan Ryan, all for the PC. All for the PC. There's George Brett, Ricky Henderson, Ozzy Guillen. Oh, and there's a Sean Dunstan. We get all we need is a Mark Grayson. We've got all of them for the 92 Tops Kids set. Let's see. Can we get the Mark Grace? Can we get there's Paul O'Neill, Alan Trammell, Randy Johnson. Eddie Murray, we're getting all these. Look at all these Hall of Famers from 92 Tops Kids. What a great set. These unopened boxes actually go for a lot of money on eBay these days. Juan Gonzalez, I actually can't get them. I wanted to get some recently. But this is just as good. Ozzy Smith, Tony Gwynn, there's the Marlins card. 92 Donruss. Man, we were just a Mark Grace shy of hitting all four of my personal collection guys from that 92 Tops Kids set looks like the rest of these are all going to be 92 donruss see aren't you glad you stuck around stuck around you got to see me pull all those guys there's a ozzy smith there's a move on albert fell we're moving now we're moving and the final stack of this box there's a great maddox ozzy smith Mo Vaughn, Albert Bell. And we finish up with Bob Kipper. So there you have it. This is, turns out to be the uh, collection for dogs and the collection for my personal collection. Sean Dunstan, Nolan Ryan, Ryan Sandberg, and we got a Mark Grace back here. So all of them in there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for more from Bob's collection as well as other baseball card breaks I always like to do. I'll see you then.